Macintosh C28 owners, if your C28 makes transient noise, inrush noise, shh, shushing sound noises upon turn on or turn off of your C28, I've got a solution for you. Now a little bit of background about using a system. When you power up a system, you want to first turn on your preamp. Let the preamp stabilize because preamps can generate transient noise. They can generate noise artifacts. Once the preamp is stabilized, then you can turn on your amplifier. And of course, you want to have your volume control on your preamp all the way down. When you turn off your system, you first want to turn your amplifier off first. Then we turn off the preamp. If there are noise artifacts that are going to come out of the preamp upon turn off, you're keeping those noise artifacts out of your speakers because you've already turned off the amplifier. Now I've got the amplifier on right now because that's the only way I can demonstrate this issue. I'm going to turn on the C28 and you'll hear an inrush of noise. And then the preamp stabilizes. Still some noise, that's other issues. And then I'm going to turn the preamp off and you'll hear a noise artifact, the same type of noise artifact you just heard upon turn on a few seconds after I turn off the preamp. Now that is not acceptable. So here's the solution. This is R66. It is a 4.7K and this is R65. Again, a 4.7K. We are going, going to remove R66. We're going to remove R65 and we're going to put in a 1.8K in series with a diode. And we're going to replace both these resistors with this setup right here. And here's an example. You just twist at the top of the resistor, solder it on, clip it. And this should solve the problem. Now I've completed the modification. Here is the 1.8K in series with the 1N4148 diode for R66. And here's R65 again, 1.8K in series with the 1N4148. By the way, I've recapped. These boards here replace all the electrolytic caps and the former tantalum caps. I'm going to consider doing the film caps later on. And this modification supposedly is good for serial numbers 10x01 to 17x01. So we're going to turn it on and we're going to listen very carefully to the result. Well, I'd have to say that that turn on rush was still present, but it is less than before. Like for sure less than before. Now we're going to turn it off. The turn off transient noise is still there, but it's much, much less. So for now, that's about all I can do with this issue. There is an improvement, although it's not perfect. Here is the schematic for the later version 
Mac Josh C28 where they did incorporate the mod, if you will, with the 1.8K resistor with the diode in series. This is R65 for the left channel. And again, for the right channel, the 1.8K with the diode in series. What we have done today is we have essentially modified a early version C28 to a later version C28. It would be interesting to hear from other folks who have completed this modification to see what kind of results you are able to obtain with your C28 in terms of noise level upon turn on and turn off.